works. <laughs> Now tell me all of your names at once. <laughs> Justin. <Melissa. laughs> you guys are horrible. At this game. They're like, we're not supposed to talk. We don't follow directions. So what's up? You tell us. Let's chat. What's up? I'm I'm having a great time. It's my first Comic Con. I'm taking it all in, having a great day, and uh, getting to know the cast. It's just kind of cool. Entering this whole world must be a must be a lot of fun. I mean, you, it's not your first TV stick, but it's no, kind it's, of different from what we know you from. Last. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm a Broadway theater guy. I do a lot of uh, music and singing and all that sort of stuff. So um, it was kind of my goal this year to come out to LA and for pilot season and find something uh, to sort of expand my horizons. And this is what hit. And, kind of perfect fit for me and I'm pumped. And people people are, would always ask me like before I got this, what's your like neck what what do you really want to do? And I was like, well I really want to be a superhero but so we're 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 halfway there. <laughs> There's a lot of musical theater people entering the superhero yeah. arena. Like you guys are That's Greg Belanti man. Greg okay. Belanti is such a he's a musical nerd. Okay. It's true. So it's all him. Uh, well and you know that's I think it's I think it's an underestimated world of actors that people sort of can sometimes brush aside saying, oh, well, that's not real, or that's not something that translates to other things. So hopefully we can prove them all wrong. Do you think there's a similarity between the heightened theatrical um universe that you have to live in and tell those stories by those rules, that translates easier into the sci-fi in some way? <laughs> sure, especially with my character because he is like very excitable and he uh, and and he sort of lives in this strange hyper-reality especially once he finds out who uh, his like best friend Kara really is. It's, it becomes this sort of hyperbolic world all around him. So yeah, but I mean you also have to find the grounded quality and the cameras, you know, like this. So if you're making too big of a face, it can, uh, <laughs> it can seem like much. But you know, for me, I'm still kind of learning and, and growing and finding all the different nuances that make film different than people. So your character, uh, Winslow, that's the same name as the villain Toyman. It is. Can you tell us anything about that? That's weird. I never heard of that before. That's strange. Huh. Revelation. <laughs> no, uh, you know, as of as of now, we he shares us a, a sa the same name as a as a infamous villain from the uh, DC universe. Um, that's kind of all he shares at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we are creating new and interesting origin stories for all of these characters, uh, including mine. Mm -hmm. And so he's being reimagined and. How far he goes towards that, I, I think is yet to be seen, but I think it would be really fun to explore how much he can change throughout the course of the series, because right now he's this youthful, really fun, excited, and uh, that kid that's just, his best friend just told him that she's a superhero, and, but there's also a bit of unrequited love there, so maybe that sort of takes you somewhere. Um, I'm just guessing. I have no idea. So I haven't told you much about where he's going. No, they don't. I mean, I have like a couple ideas what might be happening in episode two, but that's <laughs> very far from what that may be. So we'll see. All right, guys, that's all.